welcome. Uh, this presentation uh, will handle uh, some biopharmaceutical manufacturing process. Um, it will also discuss the influence of raw materials in your process. We will discuss uh, quality by design and we also will discuss the robustness of the supply chain management. Finally, I will give an example of how uh, a quality attribute or many examples of quality attributes can influence your process. During, the, during a typical manufacturing process, not only the target protein is produced, but also many impurities, including process-related impurities and also product-related impurities. These product-related impurities have to be removed thoroughly in order to have a safe process. During the downstream processing, you also create a lot of impurities that have to be removed. Uh, chromatography is most of the time the most effective way to remove these impurities, especially uh, endotoxins, DNA, and um, other products that are introduced during manufacturing should be removed in order to have a pure final target protein. Besides the process-related impurities, we also have product-related impurities. These impurities are much more difficult to remove. They are very similar to the target protein. And for that reason, you need very selective methods to remove them. And uh, those methods are most of the time based on chromatography. Um, besides process and product related impurities, we also have to, uh, to deal with contamination. Contamination that is coming from the materials themselves, but also from packaging or from the manufacturing process, so from vessels, etc. Especially when you uh, produce with single use equipment, this is a very important topic that you have to control. Raw materials that are used in your process um, have to be a lot-to-lot -lot consistency. That's very important. On day one, you want to produce your target protein, and on day 20, it should be the same target protein with the same profile. Raw materials can have influence on that production uh, process because in the, pro in the raw materials some uh, impurities can affect your process and it is very diff difficult to uh, predict that but it's important to remove these uh, impurities before you uh, continue your process. Um, our company is able to remove most of these uh, impurities out of the of the raw materials and also gives you a guarantee on at which levels that is done and it will also give you a certain a certainty uh, in terms of lot to lot consistency i will show you some examples later on here you see the use and impact of some of the materials that are used in your process. It is very important to have control on these impurities, or at least to have insight info about these impurities in order to, uh, yeah, to, to, to control them and to uh, guarantee safety. We, as a Fantor uh, performance materials company, are not only providing uh, products for the downstream processing, but we are also very active in the upstream processing. Um, for the downstream processing, uh, the company is uh, providing chromatography resins, excipients for fill and finish, uh, 
but in the upstream uh, processing, they um, they can pr provide you with uh, sugars or other key ingredients for your fermentation. This is all done under strictly GMP regulation, and our facility is also GMP approved. How? important it is to have an integral, integral uh, integrate uh, few is when you look at the supply quality supply quality product security and the pedigree data so the historical data the supply chain security integrates multiple activities that must build up on our quality systems today it is very important to have that inter integral few in order to have control about it and um, Avantor is not only looking at uh, the, the product quality, but it has an internal view of the supplier and even before the supplier. And have control means understand the process of purifying, of subdividing, and of uh, quality control. In 2009, RX390 was uh, reacted in Pennsylvania, and this um, is a very important uh, worldwide initiative focused on the global supply chain security. It has uh, important ingredients, including certification of excipient distributor program and a robust management of change, important when there is anything changed in your uh, supply management. Quality by design, you hear a lot of that. In fact, in a nutshell, quality of design is used to control your process and to know how your process, uh, of what is affected in your process. That means you have to identify your critical quality attributes. And furthermore, you have to understand your design in which you work in in order to control it. We have to look at the raw materials, at the excipients, and also the impurities. And these are all well defined in ICHQ7, uh, where, these, uh, where this definition is coming out. Quality uh, by design means you understand your protein. What are the attributes that are influencing the quality of that protein. And after that, you do a risk analysis to understand the, uh, what, what, can, what can happen when you don't control it. You design your space in which you want to control these uh, attributes. You uh, design your uh, analytical controls. And finally, you validate it. And this is all. Um, yeah, done and prescribed by uh, FDA. This is, for instance, uh, an example of the quality contributes um, of a, a monoclonal antibody purification process. In this process, it is inf very important to have control on aggregates, to have control on glycosylation, and at every parameter, every variant, you have to describe very thoroughly in, the, in detail to understand what the influence is at the end uh, product. That means that you need to define analytical controls in order to have um, yeah, control about these uh, variants. The quality, of con the quality by design is a combination of uh, several international harmonization uh, 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 regulation guidelines, the Q8, Q9, and Q10. And Q10 is in fact uh, enables you and prescribes the, main the maintenance of the product and the process and the facility uh, through the life cycle of the product. What are the benefits for you when you buy raw materials that have to 
that has uh, developed by quality by design. That means that you have a full understanding of all critical uh, specification, critical attributes that can influence the quality. Um, you have a fast tech transfer in, in your process because you already know a lot about the raw materials. You don't have to find it out by yourself. And at the end, you have lower operation cost, less deviation investigations, less um, investigation at all. Full implementation of quality by design is a win-win situation. Not only for the manufacturers of the raw materials, but also for the regulators, and also at least, and at the end, very important for the patients, where the target protein is uh, used for. This is an example of a lot-to-lot -lot consistency test of acetonitrile, um, in which you can see that um, it divides between uh, several levels. We have control on these levels because all the points that are above the critical level, it's not going through. It will be reacted. The same is for endotoxins, for instance, in our process water. That is already monitored from October of 07 until August 12. Chromatography media, also a very important uh, uh, part in your purification process. A critical quality attribute is a selectivity test that is done for all media that we are producing. That selectivity test gives you um, um, a guarantee that the selectivity is always the same from one batch to the other batch. This is our process control and it secures the, uh, the lot to lot. The same we do for the media, the silica type of media, C4 in this uh, in case. And this uh, reverse phase media is used for large scale protein manufacturing. And uh, the carbon content is checked. This is the flow diagram to control defective goods prior to delivery. That is important to know how the flow of the, of the raw material is going. And if a product is not good, it will be rejected. Sometimes it will be retested, but only in very special uh, oc uh, occasions. Because we don't want you to have bad raw materials. These raw materials are very thoroughly uh, controlled and if not uh, good, they are rejected. And this is all described in this uh, control of defective goods. For raw materials and excipients, a whole bunch of guidelines are developed and are given in this uh, overview including FDA-related guidelines, ICH, um, ISO guidelines, a lot of guidelines. Exipact is also an organization that is uh, dealing uh, with raw materials. And it's a result, a group of industry experts from the European Fine Chemical Group, International Pharmaceutical Excipients Council, and IPEC Americas, and they join they are joined and uh, have worked together on the development of a certification scheme for excipient supplies, and it is called Exipact. A systematic process for the assessment uh, is also very important to uh, control the risk, to manage the risk, to mitigate the risk, and link raw material attributes and process parameters to critical quality attributes and perform risk assessment. Risk assessment is a very important part of the quality by design. The good pharmaceutical quality represent accept acceptable low risk, calculated low risk in every step that you achieve. And here you 
you see the whole all steps in the in the risk management uh, that we are having within Avanto. Risk mitigation, a detailed manufacturing and contribution is important to uh, control because what you want is a good lot-to-lot -lot consistency of the raw material. Our global manufacturing platform consists of at least four manufacturing sites uh, that covers the complete world. I want to give you a case study. Um, this is a, a fab fragment that is uh, purified uh, using a um, cation exchanger. And fabs are used uh, as target proteins to develop special medicines. This is the resin, the Avanto resin that is uh, used for this uh, process. And um, this process use, is using this uh, uh, cation exchanger to purify the fragment to an extent that it can be uh, used for formulation. This resin is designed and is a multi-mode resin. That means there are more than one interactions possible in this resin. Not only ion exchange possibilities, but also uh, hydrophobic interaction possibilities are possible in this uh, resin. And that makes this resin more or less unique for this application. Here you can see how unique it is. With the resin at the right-hand side, the separation is only partial of the host cell proteins, the HCP. The HCP is the process, uh, product related uh, impurity that you have to remove. And you see how good the selectivity is of the CSX. How to optimize, because you need to optimize a lot of parameters. You need to optimize the flow, you need to optimize the uh, the, 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 the temperature, but also um, the conductivity and the residence times should be optimized. Your I, that means the response, is the dynamic binding capacity. That is, in fact, your uh, outcome. And you need a, a, a DOA, a design of experience, experiments to optimize all the conditions. That is what we did. That needs nine experiments. And after nine experiments, you know what your optimum is. And under these optimum uh, conditions, you, do a, uh, you, you, you can calculate a surface plot. And from that surface plot, you calculate, in fact, your optimum pH that is influencing the separation. You can also calculate the interrelationship between the parameters. And in this case, we find out that the pH has most influence on this, um, on this separation. And the value of the binding capacity we calculated was optimal at 14 till 15 milligrams per milliliter. And this was the uh, actually the, the optimized uh, separation after we used the DOA optimi optimization uh, method. So the HCP is fully separated from the, from the FAP product. And in that way, you can purify this uh, product in a, in a vi very nice way. I come to the conclusion. Um, in summary, the quality and consistency of raw materials is a very important uh, point in your process. You have to understand the quality attributes that, in, that can influence uh, the, 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 the raw material and, and your process. And 
hope you learn a, a little bit about uh, quality by design and also CGMP and transparency of the raw materials. And also how important it is to uh, control the supply chain in general. Because if you can control the, uh, the supply chain, you can control your end product. And uh, last but not least, we saw an example of a, of a selective method to purify a target protein, a FAP in, the, in this way. Thank you for your attention.